Semaphore, the 60s and computer science are combined in an art exhibit which is intriguing crowds in Christchurch. The artist behind it says he likes to entertain and he's used the latest technology to do it. Jeff Hampton reports. Strange scenes at the Coca Art Gallery in Christchurch. Wow would be it. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that at all. Raining donuts. <laughs> You see like these three straight thingies and donuts flying everywhere. The scenes are sparked by an intriguing artwork called Semaphore. What's obvious are the three towers. When you put on the 3D goggles it becomes really intriguing, almost like a psychedelic trip from the 60s. Pointing the goggles at one of the images on the towers fires the computer to send out the 3D imagery like message transmission. It took artist Roger Bays more than four months to put together, much of the time in the HIT lab at Canterbury University, where computer technology is pushed to the limit. He wants his art to entertain. When people put the goggles on, their eyes light up. Even though they've got the goggles in front and you can't really see their eyes, but you know they light up and the mouth opens and they're kind of surprised and intrigued. And then they become fascinated because there's two worlds happening at the same time. There's the virtual world and the real world, and the two worlds get superimposed together. Bayes has big plans for Semaphore. It's going to be displayed overseas, and ultimately he'd like to make a bigger version and set it up outside. Jeff Hampton, 3 News.